welcome to Baristan. Today, Max and me, both of us, are going to discuss painted stork. Painted stork is also called Chitrit Saras in Hindi. So, all of you who know Saras, Chitrit Saras is what uh, we are going to discuss today. Chitrit Saras is found all over India. Uh, they, they are non-migratory and we find them throughout the year. Let's find out how can we know. In some parts of the range, they're not migratory. They're resident to the Western Ghats but can migrate. Little bit yes. from one region to the other mm -hmm. in India. Nearby. All right. And now, how do we know which one, which Saras or which uh, stork is painted stork? It is unmistakable. There's no way yes. you can mistake it with any stork possibly in the world. True. Or any water bird. Yes. So, storks are water birds or aquatic birds, we can say. Uh, they are generally found on ground near water. So you know one thing where to see them wherever water bodies are there Storks will be only found over there and painted storks are very striking when you look at them So visually they are striking storks to look at their beak is golden yellowish golden colored long beak curved towards the end towards the tip of the beak their head is orange to red color. It's bare. It has no uh, hair or fur on it. It's bare and it's got nice red or orange hue that is coming out of it. So the head and the stalk itself will give you an idea you're looking at painted stalk. Apart from that, the neck of adult painted stalk will be white, completely white color. And then the when you flow down on the plumage side, the wings of it will have black color on the tertials and towards the end of the plumage almost towards the tail you will have pink color that will be coming so the pink black and then white that is how it goes from uh, tail to the neck and then head becomes orange and red they are big in size so it is not possible that one will not notice them when they are around so this is how their physical description is male and female both look the same so there is no dimorphism in painted storks generally the males are larger than the females slightly in size they are larger than females while the young ones young ones look different so the young ones have not developed their colors yet and young ones take about two to three years to actually start looking like their parents or adult uh, painted storks when they are young uh, you will see them as grayish color uh, bill their uh, stock bill and uh, their neck color can be uh, gray their plumage color will be brown and once they grow older when they are two or three years old then they develop all the colors like their adults are uh, the height of the stock because generally it is standing upright the height can be between 190 3 to 102 centimeters around 4 feet 3 and a half to 4 feet that is uh, how tall they can be and uh, they weigh between 2 to 3 and a half kilos as well their wingspan can be 150 centimeters to 160 centimeters that big and while they are flying while in flight their necks are stretched literally stretched as, as if somebody is tied a string on it and they are pulling that kind of stretch on their neck so the wide stretch of the neck is amazing sight to look at when they are flying in the air although they do not take long flights or far off flights but they do fly or they do go on to trees and sit because their nests are generally placed on higher trees near the water bodies Painted storks are not known to have alarm calls or, you know, have distinctive voices or, that, songs. or songs that you may want to hear or that may please your ears or maybe help you birding by the ear. Uh, but they do make certain sounds like clattering sounds with their bills. Croaking. Low, croaking, harsh croaking sounds they can make. And low moaning while all these sounds are made while they're standing at the nest. Yes. Never in flight. True. So they make these sounds. They can also be in the water and they can make these uh, noises. But they are not known to be very vocal. So their vocalization is low. These are the things that they do vocally. Painted storks are known to live between 20 to 28 years. So their lifespan is quite long, 20 to 28 years. As old years. as... This is the lowest lifespan an adult human can live with now. Yes. Uh, when it comes to the diet or the food that they eat is mainly 
uh, dependent on fish they love to eat fish apart from that max do you know what all other habits they have they eat frogs snakes oh okay okay they tend to for wage mm-hmm. for food on the water right they you they take advantage of the thermal set evening basically a thermal is when warm air rises up right. and makes it easy for them to glide in the air and fly uh-huh. more lift mm-hmm. the better because right. gravity pulls them down lesser when they are going more up than down okay so they take advantage of the thermals to forage for food and glide so they also hunt for food during the nights as well yes they can, and well they can do in early in the morning and late at night yes. there's no fixed time for them to do it they just hunt find food any time of the day yes they so they are looking for fish frogs snakes whatever they find crawling around maybe they will take they that. usually feel feed the young fish less than 20 cm in length yeah most probably because of the stork size uh, sorry the beak size that they have so to fit and uh, not to choke on things maybe they keep the size of the fish calculated and it would be usually below 20 cm that they select for the young ones also the young ones eat somewhere between 500 grams to 600 grams which is nine fish nine fish under 20 cm so that many they have to feed every single day to their young ones to keep them uh, keep them healthy and uh, grow grow stronger and older faster now you may be thinking where will you be able to see these painted stocks these striking birds that we have been discussing and describing here these birds can be found near fresh waters wetlands and or fresh water wetlands in fresh water wetlands and in most plain parts of the country so almost all over the country uh, you can find you can find painted storks uh, apart from the north no, from north the region. regions bordered with pakistan and bangladesh you cannot find them yeah uh, uh, they do migrate a little like if they are uh, though in the western ghats migration is not known not then. known so if they are all round here found in maharashtra karnataka and the states are southward they do not like to migrate from this side to the northern side they are also found in rajasthan uh, you may have seen photographs or videos from bharatpur if you you have been a birder and you have been interested in birds so from there you can see them they stay there throughout the year uh, they make their nest they their breeding season also starts in the month of august in northern india and in southern india they start building their nest from the month october and then they finish nest building by february or april and at one time the female can lay between 1 to 5 eggs right max yes yeah uh, their nests are generally higher elevated on trees they are not on the on sand banks or you know on the ground so they keep their nestlings higher up on the trees and they choose locations which are suitable for making their nests the nestlings are often targeted by palaces sea eagles true and that also could be a cause of their declining population uh, apart from that habitat loss as and well poaching overall and poaching uh, around the indus river system yes indus river uh, indus river valley uh, around that area generally they are found on the east side of the indus river valley but on the western side their population is declining at an alarming rate so uh, it has been a concern because the population is declining and uh, not much is being done for conservation of these birds that has put them in the near threatened status true uh, these birds also like to uh, you know stay along other storks and pelicans they often live in mixed colonies with spot bill pelicans another common pelican found in peninsular india if not all of india true so spot bill pelicans can be a good companion for painted storks uh, apart from that they they you know throughout the year they are pretty active they like to scare away fish when they are in the water so with their legs they scare away fish also there is one more feature which people may not like uh, the color of the leg comes from the uh, defecating that they do on their legs so sometimes it can be misleading when people are looking at their legs uh, the legs are generally of red or pink in color maybe slightly orange but due to defecation it looks white or yellowish 
and you. Mm. Yeah. Once the eggs are laid by the female painted stork, it takes about a month for the incub incubation of the eggs and it takes about two months till the hatchlings become fledglings or they are ready to be on their own. So it takes after one month of incubation, two months more for them to be finally be out of the nest. And the parents, the painted stork parents, the mother and the father stork, they try to cover their nest during the afternoons, during the midday or the afternoon time when the sun, uh, sun rays are pretty harsh uh, on top of their nest to cover them against the sunlight and pro provide them cooling. Uh, their eggs also can get spoiled if the heat decreases or the time they lose. So after monsoon or while the monsoon is approaching after that, there are less chances that their eggs will be hatching. So they need to be uh, you know they need to calculate time uh, time in advance so that before the winter start their hatchlings have actually come out and they have become independent otherwise uh, their eggs do not really incubate properly and their hatchlings are not healthy enough to survive so the weather plays an important role in how their uh, uh, you know rate of uh, eggs converting into uh, hatchlings and fledglings happen so weather as well as uh, the combination of the location where the they are in. Higher success rate happens in big colonies. True. And where they live more in numbers. Uh, wherever they are more in numbers, that shows that there will be abundant food available in that region. Where they only are attracted to the places where there is abundance of food and more and more numbers get acquired over there. They like to live in groups and in you know, big numbers. They do not like to live in small numbers, uh, especially with, uh, you know, reckless fishing all over the country. In fact, around the world, it has been causing a huge concern for the food safety of painted storks and other aquatic birds because they also feed on fish. And many times fish are not, you know, available in the lakes and in water bodies for them to feed on. So it is causing a major problem for aquatic birds to actually keep on surviving and feed their young ones at the same time with the kind of requirement that they have on a daily basis. There are other concerns as well when it comes to painted storks uh, uh, with their health, uh, such as they can be infected with lice. Uh, there are uh, lice that are called Ardicola tantali. These lice can also reduce their lifespan to a great extent. As well as uh, there are other mites that can also get into their uh, body and they also are known to decrease their lifespan apart from other concerns that we have, natural habitat, etc. And uh, problem of their food uh, where, where they can find abundance of fish. Apart from that, these are also concerns which is causing a major problem for painted stalks and other stalks in India. Uh, to survive and thrive.